Whether you're just starting a nonprofit, new to development, or a seasoned veteran, there are four principles that are essential to success in development and fundraising, especially if you hope to get fully funded this year. Today, we're going to address the abundance mentality versus the scarcity mentality. Stay tuned. Over the last year, I've been helping a friend who runs a small nonprofit in Zambia raise money to purchase a new truck for their ministry. Since it's so hard to get vehicles in Zambia, even a used truck costs $40,000. The first attempt at raising funds to purchase the truck consisted of an online campaign to their mailing list in June. That effort raised $20,000, but only half needed to purchase the vehicle they wanted. The leader confidentially shared his discouragement with the effort and that he had started to fall into the trap of the scarcity mentality. He was doing everything in his power and still fell short. He opened the campaign back up at year end and it was still going slow. He began to pray and turn the results over to God. Not long after, he was contacted by someone on his mailing list who asked, Do you still have the need for that truck? And if so, how much do you need? To which my friend answered, well, the remaining $20,000. With that, the man replied, great, I'll send a check today. My friend was floored and felt extremely blessed. But that's not the end of the story. When he went to purchase the truck, he found that being year-end, the car dealer was trying to move his inventory and he offered that truck and another truck for $40,000 total. My friend got two vehicles for the price of one. He was blown away by God's grace and love and realized that he had violated one of the key principles of development and fundraising, focusing in on the scarcity mentality rather than the abundance mentality, knowing that God had something better out there for him than that. There are four principles that are essential to success in development and fundraising. Today, we're going to address principle number one, focus on abundance mentality and not scarcity mentality. At the heart of the need for funds is a wrong perspective on money and provisions. Too many organizations are focused on the bottom line and as a result, cut corners, which hurts efficiency and effectiveness and keeps them from achieving excellence. Oftentimes, leaders are consumed with the next bill or paycheck and lose perspective on what they're called to do. This obsession makes them short-sighted and forces them to take an immediate perspective rather than playing the long game. Soon, the beggar mindset sets in and leaders see their job reduced to the person on the street corner washing windows for a few coins. This is called the scarcity mentality. It assumes that, that this is the best it's going to get and that barely getting by is fine. In fact, it's the way to go. We get fooled into thinking that our donors and partners only have so much money and don't want to share what limited amounts they have with us. The abundance mentality believes that there is something better waiting around the corner. People of faith believe that God owns it all, a cattle on a thousand hills. And he wants to provide for his children, and not just spare, sparingly, but abundantly. This mentality believes that our partners are not limited in their resources, like a pie, but that the pie can get bigger and will if the cause is right. Therefore, we need to see ourselves as blessings brokers and not beggars. This allows us to have a long-term perspective on development and we begin focusing on raising friends rather than funds. And this ultimately leads to abundantly more income for your organization. Building friendships leads to a fully funded organization as your excitement seeps into the cracks and crevices of their being. Your organization can become fully funded by understanding these essential principles focusing in on friend raising, focus on integrated strategy, on public relations recruitment and fundraising, and the abundance mentality. And lastly, win keeping and lifting your partners to new levels of involvement. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up 
and leave the comments below and share with a friend. If you wish to watch more videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell and be notified immediately of the release of the next video. If you're on Instagram, follow me at Jim W. Dempsey or if you're on Facebook, join my Life Changers community. If you have questions, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java. If you want to know what to do and what to say on an appointment with a major donor, watch this video and make your development efforts go to the next level. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.